welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Grey 500. Uh, it's been a good couple of weeks, but that's because I'm trying to, or been waiting for the V5 to come back so effectively I can get it on the road and everything like that. And uh, yeah, so I've managed to now get it to my uh, dad's address where we've got a nice driveway and everything to work on the cars and so we've had about 10 12 minutes now of driving the car uh, temperature is good and um, apart from a very not as bright start stop button up the top there um, idling's very good and as far as I'm aware, the car drives without any crashes or bangs. It has been sat for a good number of weeks, so the, the brakes were pretty um, noisy. So I've tried to run those in a bit, but I uh, also really had to ramp the handbrake up to, uh, to get the car, because as you can see, I'm on a ramp. So, yeah, so anyway, we've got it here. Um, now, one of the little issues, I think it's not an issue actually, it was just trying to work out whether or not, because this came with the private number plate, and I was umming and erring whether or not to keep it on there or stick it back on the original number plate. So, but I've decided that I'm going to retain that for my own personal use. It means absolutely nothing to me. Um, I don't know what it's worth, but bugger it. it. This is a 500, so it can just stick on the 12 plate. So um, so I've driven it here on the private, and then I need to tell the DVLA that I want it on that, and apparently it's pretty much instant when you go on the DVLA website that um, you want that, and then literally it becomes legit that day. So... Um, so yeah, uh, what else do we need to do? So it sounds good, sounds alright. So today's plan is to work on this down the bottom here. And then to see if maybe I could try and get this bumper off. I don't know if it's already come off and they've had a look at it. Part of me thinks that if it did go to an insurance claim when it got recovered or whatever, that they would have taken that off. So I'm hoping all the bolts are nice and easy to come off and that will literally be off in a in a jiffy. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, it's all good so far. So let's start. Oh yeah. And I want to get this panel off here so because I've got a replacement for this uh, the key battery's dead which isn't helpful because if I try and lock it I'm getting nothing oh no wait hold on Oh, hold on. Now I'm confused. Right. Okay, maybe it does work. Anyway, let's get on with the video and uh, start pulling apart the car. So, to take the rear bumper off, you need to remove the headlights. And as you can see, the absolute state of what's behind the headlight. The other side's not too bad. That's gonna need a clean anyway. So I'm gonna set this up and then we're just gonna use some G101 and a brush. And we're hopefully gonna make this look brand new. So let's get going.
Right, so can't use hoses, so just wash that down, and uh, that's all pretty much now nice and clean. Obviously, I've got the rest of this all to do up here around here, but when I come to clean the car, I'll sort all that out and I'll go on to the other one, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, yeah, uh, a little little job, but ultimately very satisfying. So this was missing. Um, and th this isn't a simple, like, this is not simple at all. The mechanism can't just find a, uh, the door and just sort of slide it in. So got a replacement and you can sort of see that the it's all sort of all done with this down the bottom here so as you can see if that snaps you've got to technically remove this whole piece anyway it's held in via two here two on the other side and the two on the top so when you look at it you're talking to remove this trim piece here which is and then to get to these two then you've got to lift this top piece to get to the two that are under here as well and then there's nothing here so technically when i start to yeah that's starting to go when i pull this that will eventually just hopefully come out it's quite difficult to do when you're holding your camera so uh, i'll probably stick up on a tripod and then uh yeah it's it's not a five minute job i'm telling you that now it's not five minutes so uh, let's get it all back to let's yeah let's just sort it all out Somebody's just gone. I don't know what that was. Let's try and do it from the other side now. So when we compare the two, you can see that we've lost that plastic on the end there. And so, yeah, this needed, this needed uh, replacing. Uh, I've cleaned it up best I can. This has been outside uh, in someone's yard for quite a while. So I've sort of cleaned it. And then I'll put it back in and then give it a proper clean when the whole interior is done. So, um, but that's that's all your uh, your gear linkage and everything there. If you're interested in all of that, so we'll look to put back everything and get it all uh, snapped back into place. So, we've got the centre trim back on. That's now all in place, everything's screwed back up. Uh, the only thing is, with this, is that's possibly broken, but I've got loads of those. And also, uh, it's good to grease in there as well, I found. Um, because over the years it's just all dried up and found that the gear is not as it's a bit feels a bit more sort of I don't know what word is sort of 
mechanical rather than smooth and sort of well greased so put some grease in there and then connect that all back up um, but otherwise that's all gone in and now we've got that little pocket so that's pretty going to be much the interior i'm going to take this off soon then that will show us what um what this looks like also now i'm looking at it let me know what you think does that steering wheel airbag look too new have a look at the color now compare it with the rest of the trim it's very white i think the airbag's gone on this well, i think it's had a front all before and that to me looks very white so it wouldn't surprise me if the airbag's blown on this before. I could be wrong. I just think it just doesn't suit the rest of the colour of the, the steering wheel. But um, I'm going to take this off because I don't like this somehow. I'm going to, yeah, get that, get that off. I don't know if it's stuck on or if it's just, I don't think it's stuck on. But uh, I'll get rid of that. Um, so coming to the end of today, and I'll show you what I've done. So we've done that. Repainting down the bottom here. Uh, need a few more coats. Uh, and then we need to work on here, because in here you can see that's bent. So we can get that taken off, have a look at the crash bar, replace the crash bar, um, and yeah, so I think that's it. I shall be coming back to you with more on this a bit later on. All right, that's the bumper done. Just got to pull the plastic grill in, clip that back in. Hopefully I won't need to take the bumper off for that. But otherwise that's uh, scuff's gone. Obviously that's a lot cleaner than this side. Hence why that's all shiny um, and that lacquer's still drying. But otherwise that scuff's all gone. So yeah, we are motoring on with this little project now. And uh, I'm going home and uh, I'll be back to sort out the uh, the rear bumper and getting that off that'll be the next project so next up we're going to try and pull out this dent get this looking reasonably straight you can see here the paint's cracked but I'm more concerned about this dent but hopefully that should just pull out so let's try and crack on pulling on that. So you can see that we're going to start to pull this dent out. And my God, this was so hard. And there came a point, I probably tried this six or seven times and it really wasn't budging. I really thought it would just pull quite easily and it wasn't at all. Um, and eventually sort of, I got a tiny bit of movement in the end I had to sort of work my way rather than from the middle but work my way from the side but it it's still not good it's still not good so cracked on basically with removing the rear bumper and you can see from here this is the rear crash bar with a lovely dent right in the middle and yeah so the old crash bar was removed. The new one, well, I say new, second-hand one was put on. And the actual sort of chassis and the rear actually was in... It, it literally, literally just touched and very minor pushed the, the rear in. But to the point of there was no need to pull it out. 
at all. So, uh, yeah, a really nice, simple rear end job. And um, I think the crash bar was... Um, well, I paid about £50 in total, but I got a load of parts with it. So, um, but yeah, that's roughly what a crash bar is. The polystyrene bit on the end, although it was attached, it it, it doesn't work because uh, you can't get the bumper on. But as you can see from here, uh, it's nice and straight. So we've got nothing to worry about uh, at all, really. And that. So the bumper was put back on lines up really nicely uh, still amazed how the bumper can end up being completely fine but you've still got that crash bar that's been completely pushed in um, but you can see here I don't know if you can really see it that there's maybe a bit of an improvement on that uh, but I still need to really work hard on trying to pull that out. And if I really can't, then I'm potentially going to have to fill it. Which I really don't want to do. Because it's just more time. So if we can still pull it, that's even better. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh, rear end uh, of the lounge back on. And you wouldn't even think that that was been in an accident. So... Uh, yeah, a nice little morning's work, really. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit of a problem. We have a failure uh, and on a number of issues, um, which I'll roughly go through. So parking brake. Um, now I noticed this when I parked this up the other day that the handbrake was, I think I mentioned it, that the handbrake was like up here. Anyway, turns out that's a failure. So already that's been adjusted there and you can now see that the handbrake is a lot lower so hopefully that's already sorted straight away headlamp aim projected beam image is obviously incorrect now it's not obvious at all because i've put on all the lights and all lights are working um there's no apparent, in my eyes, difference between brightness. It's not like one is dimly lit or anything like that. So I'm really not 100% sure what on earth that means. Um, when I was in there, what th threw me was that I said, oh, you can sort out the aim. And they went, oh, no, you just need a new bulb. Well, well you're talking about a beam and I can't see which bulb actually needs replacing because um, they all seem to be all good. So I'm really confused by that. Shock absorber has a serious fluid leak. So, again, wouldn't really have known about that. Um, it's been wet and, yeah, and unfortunately, yeah, we're uh, buggered on that. So I've ordered a new one and that will be coming and then we're going to have to work out about putting that one in. So I've got 10 working days to get this car sorted. Then we've got advisories on an exhaust mounting, uh, basically a clamp missing on the rear. And exhaust has minor leak of gases at the front. Again, wouldn't really know about that. And then where I had the puncture repair done by a professional garage, that's come up as an advisory because where they've put in, how they put it is they put like that, that V shape into the tyre and then they then lob it. They haven't, I don't think, lobbed it enough and you can see it's slightly protruding above the trim. So that's come up as an advisory. So that's where we're at. Uh, a bit gutted, but it's not the, the worst thing in the world. And we'll get an exhaust bracket done and... 
yeah so yeah. so that's going to be the end of the video we're going to have to go on to another part then to cover the uh the replacement of the shocker and everything like that so yeah until next time i'll speak to you all again very soon don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and uh yeah for more videos on what i thought was going to be a nice simple easy job and not quite gone that way until next time see you all later